after this, I don't need to eat for a while. Oh. We just got to one of our favorite restaurants here in Japan. Octopus. Mm -hmm. Our first stop today, a place called Coffee. Well, the sign says coffee. Of course, gotta get a nice coffee and uh, hopefully a snack. Konnichiwa. This place is legit. They roast their own coffee. Ever since I started making my own lattes, it's like on a whole different level. Coffee exploration for me. Before it was about pour overs, now it's about lattes. Excuse me. Good thing I had my mask on. Oh, it's warm. I don't know. This is kind of like the dessert of the day. Mmm. Not bad. Is it a napkin? Okay. I'm gonna have to first try this. Okay. Or, do you want the first try? Mm -hmm. I had the first try this. It's not too sweet. It's really good. Try it. Banana milkshake. Yeah. Oh, Sugoi! <laughs> Jolzu des! <laughs> wow! Wow. Look at the jiggle. You see the jiggle? Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That tastes good. Mmm. Coffee was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> We're about to eat lunch right now. It's gonna be traditional Japanese breakfast for lunch. They got 10 different kinds of eggs. We're gonna eat it with rice. We're back in Shibuya. Look at this intersection. This is the craziest intersection. And this is the intersection you've probably seen in movies. There's that intersection, there's this intersection, that one and that one. So a total of one, two, three, four, five, including the middle one. But they're gigantic. Watch. What's crazy, you can go any direction. Kudatama is probably the star right now because of the next no, 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 special. I got one keychain because okay, cool. we got Mia keychain. Okay, cool. So. Yeah, gotta keep it equal. Oh, bag. Oh, you can go home back. That's perfect. There you go. And a wallet. We never got um, Mia wallet, but we'll get that. Oh, wait, let's get this one because yeah, it's okay. in a package. Okay. Ooh, freaking cute. Juliana and I are walking to our friend's restaurant. It was so crazy back there at the intersection and there's this road that leads to Ebisu, which is where we're going. Totally calm, totally chill. One thing about Japan, if you want to travel here, try to get a map. Google Maps is what I would suggest. A lot of the signs are in English. Obviously like this road, maybe not. But if you have Google Translate on your phone, it's just so easy and it's so calm. Everyone's nice. She walked kind of behind me because I walk fast. 
I would not let that happen anywhere else. Right here? Totally okay. It's definitely a walking city, which is cool. Even though, ironically, it's also a public transportation city too. The trains are very convenient and easy. They just make it nice for all methods of travel. And even after the Olympics, they did a lot of construction. So even driving around, I've noticed, it's more free flowing. So all around, as if it couldn't get any better, it's better. I really like that here. We would never walk this far in Seattle, Why? ever. Well, I'm just saying we've never, right? Walking is, it's not as walking friendly where we are. Why? Well, we actually do walk around the neighborhood quite a bit. I take that back. We do walk around, but we don't walk to restaurants. We don't walk to shopping malls and public transportation because they don't have it where we live. Live in a suburb. You just find these random cool parks. It is a concrete jungle, but they do appreciate their art. And the tiny little parks, the garlic sign right there. Nini Kuya. A I usually get to choose options. menus. There's a lot. She likes it. Oh, they got an uh, English menu here, so definitely helpful. How does it taste though? Let me try it. Mm. It tastes exactly like that fish This is a garlic restaurant. We're starting off with some garlic rice, a couple of salads. I love okra, so that's what we're going to do. And then we'll just explore the menu as the night goes on. Garlic whiskey. Smoke oh my gosh, I, it smells like I'm cooking the garlic. That's very good. If you love garlic, this is the drink you want to start your meal off with. Definitely on the rocks. It'd be kind of intense if it was just straight. Very good. Black garlic. Vanilla and caramel. Vanilla and caramel. Nini Q. It's a garlic restaurant, but if you just walked in here and you didn't know it was a garlic restaurant, you wouldn't know any different because it's such a nice balance. Definitely great for garlic lovers though. I suggest the garlic fried rice, the fried chicken, get the tomato cilantro salad. That trio is great. They're really known for their signature dish, which is the garlic bread. It'll ruin you for regular bread. Everything, literally everything was good. Even the garlic whiskey here. Daring try it. Mm. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a nice goodbye. Kind of lightens things up, but reminds you, hey, here's some garlic for you to take with you. Hopefully don't forget it. Definitely don't forget it. Ohio Mas. We just ran into Ohio some Gazai. random people from the States. Yeah, <laughs> By Juliana has been such a trooper. We had quite the morning. What happened? So we were gonna go to this like coffee shop. It was kind of kind of ish a longish it kind was long, long. It was okay. 25 minutes at least um and then uh we went there and then we saw you guys. okay <laughs> they weren't open at the time that was stated on their site i felt bad because doug and janelle followed us Met and juliana i asked them where's the closest delicious bakery and he knew exactly <laughs> what i was talking about because this is a bougie spot yeah, yeah oh you heard me say it? yeah 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 <laughs> i had to clarify they're all oishi honestly but he knew what i meant 
because the coffee shop that he runs we don't know yet. is bougie and fancy. No, trust me, we know. It's a tiny little place. It's the bottom floor of um, probably someone's home. But yeah, we're gonna try it. Look, there's a lineup. Cute, nice doggy. Dogs don't bark in Japan. It's nice. <laughs> Yeah, this one, I think this is the one that guy got. It was kind of popular. Are you excited for your honey bread? Look at that. Is it good? You can mix it afterwards if you want. Hot. She has to get the right shot. Mm, trying the macchiato. <laughs> it's like every reaction you have. It's really good. It's so small. That coffee shop was awesome. Kind of off the beam path. Take a taxi unless you want to take a walk. But look what we found. This snack machine is legit. But we gotta catch this train, little one. I know, I'm sorry. Let's go. Here at the department store. Why is there Disney music? I don't know why. <laughs> Probably. They don't have the license, so I bet you anything. Okay, so our first stop is orange jelly. How's it taste? Good. Daddy likes the snacks too. Don't try I'm still a kid here. Yeah. Mm. You know what I like about this place? They have sour to sweet and all the options in between. This is just below the sweetest one. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. I'll save some for you. So you got Osamba here. Probably the best Osamba. nice and warm which is probably the best even though that guy is so fast at making these people are buying them by the box like multiple boxes so it took a while that was like a good 10 minutes maybe I mean, at more. least you get to watch it yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. you get a little Hi. show that taste is it good lumpy it's like a healthy stuffed pancake the pancake tastes really good Mmm, that is really good. It's mostly beans. I mean, yeah. After this, I don't need to eat for a while. Oh. Like, here, you can have the rest. We just got to one of our favorite restaurants here in Japan, Matsuya. If you remember, we came here on our last trip and had amazing, an amazing meal. I think we've been here twice. Oh, you probably don't remember. Oh, really? traditional Korean food but um, untraditionally extra excellent. Julian is very blessed right now yeah. because I got um, she got her my notebook. custom notebook. And I got a gift. <gasps> wow. She got to pick the, uh, the, the animal and her name. Spelled right, that's good. Your birthday or something, yeah. huh? You're <laughs> getting spoiled. <laughs> She's 
been spoiled this whole trip. My grandma, she gave me money. She always gives me money, right? But she was making up for like five years and not giving us money. I just gave it to her. I didn't know how much it was. She's rich now. She's gonna pay for everything from now on. <laughs> Wow! So much craft stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she loves it. Thank you so Can much. You that is too generous of you. Juliana, show me. How happy are you on a scale of one to ten? Um, a billion. A billion. Yeah. A billion out of ten. That's that's good. She markers? says that about my cooking once in a while too. <laughs> once in a while though. I do.